teachers, students of this institution. We join me in welcoming our chief guest. Uh, Khan Saab is in fact uh, connected with Ramakrishna Mission for almost last two years. Uh, we have been working together doing the relief during Corona pandemic uh, as a part of uh, Meghalaya Legal Services. Uh, they joined hands with us and uh, we are very grateful to them for having you know, helped us during very tricky situations, which only I think we, your department will do it. And uh, he has come all the way today here uh, to listen to the uh, prize winning speeches of our students. As already all of you are aware that this, is, this was a historic event 128 years back when Swami Vivekananda appeared on the World Parliament of Religions at Chicago. And that became a landmark for the regeneration of this country, of ours. Not only that, that was the point from where a lot of interfaith conferences started happening all over the world because uh, the seeds of interfaith conferences, seed of acceptance of each other's belief system, each other's practices, uh, started from that day. Swami Vivekananda's speeches, if you go through it, somebody in fact from my school asked me, Maharaj, why are you conducting these kind of competitions? Um, Swami Vivekananda's speeches and also we have another competition on the 18th. And uh, I remember, see, when we go through the speeches of Swami Vivekananda, it is not that we try to tell you what is there about Hinduism or any other ism. Uh, going through the speeches of Swami Vivekananda or his master, Sri Ramakrishna, makes a Hindu a better Hindu, makes a Christian a better Christian, makes a Mohammedan a better Mohammedan. If you go through their writings, you understand your own religion much better, in a much scientific manner, in a much universal manner, because Swami Vivekananda only talked about the universal principles, not about the practices which, is, which are different in every religion, but the practices which unite us, as human beings, those who are yearning to know something more than the materialistic world has to offer, something more of a spiritual dimension. So today I am very happy that our chief guest is here to listen to our children and also to share his thoughts with us. With these few words, I thank all of you. I thank Mrs. Khan and the children who have come all the way. And I hope you will enjoy this session. Thank you very much.